What is up guys? So I'm gonna make this video in response to Camelot331, which made a conference call, or somehow got access to a conference call with the GameStop executives. Uh, it's titled, I sneaked onto a GameStop regional conference call. This was the result. Uh, I was just reading the YouTube video on my second monitor. So uh, I'm gonna give you some background on my experience with GameStop. Um, I worked there t as a temp for about four months um they usually hire their employees as temps and then they decide to keep them as a part-time employee and eventually i guess you work your way up from there now the problem with all that is that let's say so a long time ago i worked at disneyland and they train you uh people with seniority get more hours than you but eventually you do get more hours usually during peak season or when you gain seniority and uh, still the minimum hours weren't too bad um now with gamestop uh I was working every other week and I was only getting about up to three hour shifts. It wasn't much uh, throughout the, and then, you know, I was told to not worry because during the holidays you get more hours. And um, by the time that Christmas week hit, um, that was the most I ever worked, which was 10 hours in a week. So four months of working at GameStop, I made about $180, which is nothing absolutely nothing it's it's i didn't mind it too much because i had a lot of free time on my hands going to school and all that stuff but the thing is like i, I would have preferred to at least work 20 hours a week maybe even 30 hours a week because i still had the time to do that but um they kind of screw their employees over quite a bit um and that was my personal experience and after the fourth month we were overstaffed so they cut me so i didn't work there anymore um now working on the floor you know they try to pressure you into taking their tablet and trying to get people to sign up for the GameStop credit card. They try to sell you on everything. They try to advertise every little thing and try to push every little thing onto their customers, which gets frustrating. I hated doing it. I didn't want to do it, but I was told to do it. I barely did it when I went on the floor, um, which is because it's really stupid because usually, usually when a gamer or, or a, 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 a consumer walks into a place like that, uh, typically you already go in there knowing what you want. Sometimes you just want to look around, sure, but you know, typically what they throw at you is not what you want, right? So you always say no um, or get the free ver ver version of that, right? So um, I hated doing that. Um, so that was the big one. The, the the final nail in the coffin was this video. I buy my games digitally now. Uh, if I do need to buy a game physically, when I own, I used to own a Nintendo Switch, so I would get my games physically. I'd go to like, you know, one of the bigger stores like Walmart, Target, or Best Buy. Um, those stores aren't any better, but they do have better quality of life for their employees. Uh, I think um, GameStop does not. Um, they they're trained. They had really no training. They kind of threw me out there. Uh, like I said, I hardly got any hours, which was a big factor. The only people I can make. The only people that make money out of GameStop store is the manager and possibly the supervisor. But even though I think the supervisor somewhat gets gypped, but they still get good hours. Uh, and then and then you got the sales associate and temps, which make absolutely nothing. Um, so yeah, that's that's basically it for GameStop. Um, yeah, so like I moved on to digitally uh, because I stopped caring about pre-order bonuses. I would prefer to preload my game uh, before launch and then have it ready like the second it comes out already downloaded already ready to go rather than having to you know wait till 9 p.m or midnight or whatever it is now and drive over to a, a GameStop and pick up the game and then have to install it and wait for the install to finish and then play it like several hours later even a day later um if you can't make it to the midnight launch right so digitally is way more convenient and since internet is fast enough to download games fairly quickly uh i don't think uh buying games physically is worth anything anymore um Especially now since a lot of uh, game companies like Microsoft and PlayStation are starting to realize that people care about their purchase history, you know, and, and that's a huge uh, issue that we faced when the Xbox One and PS4 came out because of the fact that, like, um, they were cutting um, our purchase history by creating a new platform and a new user interface and cutting out your purchase history and, and removing backwards compatibility, right? Now, now in PC, that's not a factor because, you know, Steam has been around for ages. Every time they update their UI, they, you still your account is still there, and it still has all your purchases, and you can still play whatever you purchased, right? So, uh, and consoles are trying to do that now too, and um, it's a lot better. So you don't have to really worry too much about losing anything you buy digitally, right? So you can download it whenever you want; it'll always be there. Uh, physical copies, obviously, you don't have that resale for it because you you know if you don't buy them, if you buy them digitally, you can't really resell the games. 
Um, but I don't really care about that because, you know, typically the last resort to reselling is giving it to a GameStop, <laughs> which which gives you nothing, you know, pennies for it. So it's not really worth it, right? Uh, now, GameStop's huge moneymaker is used games. When I worked there, I remember someone walking in and giving them Grand Theft Auto uh, 5 for uh, like 10 bucks, And then the next customer that came in, I, I kept, I'm not even kidding. The next customer that came in wanted Grand Theft Auto 5 and they sold it back to him for $35 or $40, something like that. So um, the profit margin is actually really big. Uh, they don't really make money off of new stuff. Uh, they make some money off of new work, new new content, you know, new consoles, new games, new all that stuff. But it's a really really small percentage. Uh, used games is their bread and butter, um, which is why selling to them is actually really bad too. Not only do they jip you on the the purchase, they also make a huge profit off of it, right? Um, now, obviously, granted, they buy most games and. Typically, those games sit on their shelves, but like I said, I think they're the enemy, to be honest. Uh, GameStop is definitely, not only do they not treat their customers well, but they also treat their employees awful. Um, the whole coronavirus um, pandemic, they wanted to keep their employees in stores, deeming themselves an essential store, which they're not. Video games are not essential uh, at all uh, to that matter. And, you know, you can buy games digitally if you really want to play them. You don't have to go to the store and risk yourself uh, into getting a virus to go to the store and and you know um if you def- it, watch this guy's video um he has the entire conference call and the executives did you know obviously are the ones that are working from home now the ones that are making millions of dollars or hundreds of thousands of dollars or whatever it is while they're telling these employees that make minimum wage that barely you know get any hours as is to go to the stores and work uh, and I don't know if a million, a millionaire was telling me to, you know, uh, go risk your life and, you know, make minimum wage and, and, uh, you know, like, it's just such a F you to like their employees and they don't really, they're not even going to pay them, you know, while they're at home either when, cause they shut down their stores after all that, all that craziness, you know, and they finally started enforcing laws to shut down these stores and, um, but now, now the employees have to get unemployment because the the store itself isn't going to pay them for that um, for that um, release. So, yeah, um, that's my take on GameStop. I just wanted to talk about it real quick. Um, it is it is really bad. Uh, I don't think they're a good company. I don't because because like one of the big one of the big things here is how could you want a company to shut down because all these people are going to lose their jobs, right? And there isn't much of a job there, right? You know, um, typically the 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 only people who are going to lose are the managers of these stores. Like you shut down a thousand stores, only about a thousand people are going to lose their jobs. Um, I, I'm not even going to um, consider those sales associates um, as like having jobs because they barely get any hours. They can't pay any bills. They, it's it's literally a high school job that you know you would you know go there and work while you're in high school and then go to college and get a better job after that. So, uh, to be honest, uh, losing GameStop is not a loss at all and i don't think nobody no one should support them at all so uh that's my take uh thank you for watching this video uh if you liked it please like it uh i'm sure a lot of you agree with me um and comment below if you would like and uh thanks for watching